Okay, this is the solution for uh, high level physics 2006, question 7 about optics. So, uh, the first part of the question is what is meant by the refraction of light? Okay, so the refraction of light or any wave is the bending of light as it travels from one medium to another. And I'm going to be really picky here and say where the media have different speeds. I could have rephrased that better. Where well, the light travels to different speeds in the media. If it was the exact same refractive index, then it wouldn't matter. There wouldn't be a refraction. A converting lens is used as a magnifying glass. Draw a ray diagram to show how an erect image is formed by a magnifying glass. Okay, so a converging lens. Don't let anyone call them concave lens. Okay, we've got a converging lens. Got my principal axis going along there. I'm going to make this my focal point and I equally out the other side. If I was doing this in exam, I'd definitely use a ruler to make sure my two Fs are the same. Okay, I'm going to draw a little stick person here. The reason I'm drawing it inside F is because I want it to be a, um, a, an erect image. I want it to be the right way up. Okay, now this is not going to be a real image. It's going to be a virtual image. It won't be projected onto a screen, but that's okay, right? One of my rules is if I go in through, in parallel, then I come out through the focal point. Okay, so there's my out. And the other one is that if I go in um, through the focal point, which I can't, I come out parallel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in through the central axis, central point here. I should have used a ruler for this anyway. You can kind of see that they're diverging, okay? They're, they're, they're going apart. I should have planned this a bit better. Anyway, the point being that these are not going to meet on this side of the lens, they're going to meet back here. So what I'm going to do is draw dotted lines as if they were coming from here. And I'm just going to, and that worked out quite nicely. So there is my virtual image. Um, remember the straight lines, uh, the, it's the emerging lines that you've got to draw back, okay? It doesn't bend backwards once it goes back through here. We're imagining where that line came from, which is why magnifying glasses magnify. It's in the name. Okay, there we go. Um, a diverging lens cannot be used as a magnifying glass. State why? The reason is that diverging lenses always form a diminished diminished image okay so there's no point they're not magnifying their diminishing glasses um all right the converging lens has a focal length of eight centimeters determine the size determine the position i'm going to just slide this up a little bit for me um determine the position the two positions that an object can be placed to produce an image that is four times the size of the object, the uh, image. So uh, magnification, which is equal to V over U, is four, okay? What that means is that V is going to be four times U. Um, so the reason they're asking for two positions is that we can have a real image or we can have an imaginary image. They haven't said which we were looking for, so we can do both, okay? So I know V is for U. My normal equation, and I would always write this down in its normal form at the start of whatever calculation you're doing, because you will usually get marks for that, um, is 1 over u plus 1 over v equals 1 over f. Um, the All right, let's, let, let's try it with v equal to 4u. So I get 1 over u plus 1 over 4u is equal to 1 over f. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot a piece of information. That was stupid. The focal length is eight centimeters. That should be an eight. I knew I was missing something there. Okay, um, so what does that mean? All right, so let's work this out. Um, this is just fraction stuff. 
okay? 4 plus 1 equals 1 over 8. So it's looking for a common denominator. Multiply both of these things by 4. Don't have to change that at, at all. It becomes 5 over 4u equals 1 over 8. And then I multiply both sides by 4u, multiply both sides by 8. I get 8 times 5 on the left is equal to 4u. I should just multiply by u anyway. Um, you still with me over there? You are. And then finally, I can rearrange and say that uh, u is equal to 40 up top divided by 4. Um, Sorry, my um, laptop was going fun there. 40 divided by 4 uh, is 10 centimeters. Okay, that's the first one. Now, the other way we could have it is if we, th that's if we have a real image. If we have a virtual image, then the um, V is negative. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So it's working out very similar. So I have, I'm sorry, I have minus, the, the, the V is minus, it's on the same side, uh, the opposite side to where it should be. So it's, it's given a negative. Um, it works out very similar, okay? Except this time we get um, 3 over 4u is equal to 1 over 8. Now I'm going to do this properly this time. I'm going to have 8 by 3 divided by 4 is equal to u, which means that u, 8 threes are 24 divided by 4u is 6 centimeters. So if you have an object that is 10 centimeters in front of the um, lens, you get four times the magnification of our real image. If you have an object that is six times in front of the lens, six centimeters in front of the lens, it's four times magnified, but it's a virtual image, okay? Um, the power of an eye when looking at a distant object should be, should be 60 per meter, um, part five. The power should be 60 per meter. Um, Person defective vision, so I'm going to call that P1, um, is 64 per meter. They have to use glasses. Calculate the focal length of the lens required to correct this defect. Okay, so we know that power is 1 over F. Stick that down. And I know that power, total power, is P1 plus P2. Okay. Um, so what do I know? I fill in what I know. So I know that it should be 60, but it's actually 64. So I've got to add another lens onto it to make it 60. Okay, should be fairly obvious there that P2 is going to be equal to um, 60, take away 64. So P2 is going to be equal to negative four per meter. Okay, um, so what this means is that, uh, carry it up here, F is equal to 1 over P, so it's minus 1 over 4 meters. So F is equal to minus 0 0.25 of a meter. Um, yeah, well, we were told it's a divert. Uh, oh, no, we're not. What type of lens is used? And name the defect. So the type of lens, because it's a negative focal length, um, we can say that a diverging lens is used this defect is called short-sightedness. Say so.